years old. And she never left the temple, but stayed there day and night, worshiping God with fasting and prayer. And she came along just as Simeon was talking with Mary and Joseph. And she began, began praising God. And she talked about Jesus to everyone who had been waiting for the promised king to come and deliver Jerusalem. All these things were taking place and more that I haven't spoken about when Jesus was born. And it's just an amazing thing to see it all come to pass. And there's not much recorded about Jesus' childhood and his growing up. One of the few stories we have in the scriptures of when he was a young boy and they went to the city of Jerusalem and uh, he got lost. And they couldn't find him. And his parents were just so upset because they couldn't find him. And finally, finally, after days of looking, they found him. And they were upset with him. And he said, son, what you, would you take off on us for? And he said, well, why didn't you come to the temple and look for me? Didn't you know that that's where you would find me in my father's house? And the Bible says they didn't say anything anymore. So he looked every place but the right place. Because Jesus always, always, in his father's house when he could be. I want to close with the last two verses here this morning of what's recorded in Luke chapter 2, verses 39 and 40. It says, Jesus' parents fulfilled all the requirements of the law of the Lord, and they went home to Nazareth in Galilee. And there the child grew up healthy and strong. And he was filled with wisdom beyond his years, and God placed his special favor and grace upon him. And he took that special grace and that special favor and he gave it to everyone, everyone who receives him. He said, they said, we, 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 don't, we don't want you resurrecting and and going back to heaven and sitting at the right hand of God after his death. And he said, I have to go. I can't stay with you anymore. Because if I don't go, God won't send the Holy Spirit to come on them inside you. So I have to go so he can send the Holy Spirit. And when you receive the Holy Spirit, you receive the special favor and grace came on Jesus like a dove when he was baptized by John. You see, we all have that. And we celebrate this wonderful, wonderful story at this time of the year because it was the beginning of God sending his son and carrying through with everything so that we all could have access and receive this wonderful grace and favor of God which we do when we receive Jesus because then we receive also his Holy Spirit. What a wonderful thing. Would you bow with me as we close in prayer? Father in heaven, we bless you and we thank you. We thank you for the tremendous recording of this story of the favor of God of the grace of God and how it all comes down to us even here today. To each one here, Lord. Father, I ask this day that you would impart the joy and the peace and the wonderment of God that comes from grasping a hold of what it means to be in the kingdom of God and a son and a daughter of God. What it means and the implications of it. I ask a blessing on the meal on each one here today. And I ask, Father, for a joyous time of year for each one. And I ask this in Jesus' name.